Human history is the depiction of humanity's past. Since the invention of writing, archaeology, anthropology, genetics, linguistics, epigraphy, philology, paleography, and other disciplines are studied through recorded history, secondary sources, and research. Human history was prehistoric, starting with the Paleolithic Age, followed by the Neolithic Age. The Neolithic Age saw the agricultural revolution begin in the Fertile Crescent of the Near East between 10,000 and 5,000 BC. During this period, people began the systematic cultivation of plants and animals. As agriculture progressed, most people transitioned from a nomadic lifestyle to a sedentary lifestyle, often living in permanent settlements as farmers. The relative security and increased productivity provided by farming allowed human communities to expand into ever larger units with improvements in transportation. Whether prehistoric or post-historical, people always needed to be close to reliable sources of drinking water. Settlements developed in Persia, Mesopotamia, in the Indus River Valley, along the Nile River in Egypt, and along the rivers of India and China as early as 4000 BC. As farming developed, grain farming became more sophisticated, leading to a division of labor to store food between growing seasons. Divisions of work led to the rise of a leisurely upper class and the development of cities that formed the basis of civilization. The increasing complexity of human societies made accounting and writing systems necessary. While the belief in Hinduism developed in the Indian subcontinent in the Late Bronze Age, in the following centuries, the influence of other religions and philosophical systems such as Buddhism, Taoism, Confucianism, and Jainism began to appear in these areas. With the development of civilizations, antiquity witnessed the rise and fall of some empires. Post-classical history witnessed the rise of Christianity, the birth and spread of Islam in the Middle East, the Golden Age of Islam, and the European Renaissance. The end of the Middle Ages led to the Scientific Revolution. The early modern period, sometimes referred to as the European Age and the Islamic Gunpowder Age, included a period from 1500 to 1800 and such radical phenomena as the Age of Enlightenment and geographical discoveries. By the 18th century, the accumulation of knowledge and technology reached a critical density that brought about the Industrial Revolution and initiated the late modern period, which started in the 1800s and continues until today. This historical periodization plan, the history of the Old World was developed especially for Europe and the Mediterranean, and is best applicable to this period. Outside of this region, including ancient China and ancient India, historical timelines developed differently. However, in the 18th century, due to widespread world trade and colonization, the histories of most civilizations became significantly intertwined with a process known as globalization. Over the last 250 years, population growth rates, information, technology, communications, trade, weapons destruction and environmental degradation have accelerated greatly, creating unprecedented opportunities and dangers facing the planet's human communities now. According to a theory put forward by the British biologist Richard Dawkins, as language became more complex, the ability to remember and communicate acquired information resulted in a new unit of cultural transmission. So ideas were quickly passed down through the generations. Cultural evolution quickly became an even bigger factor than biological evolution, and history really began. Until about 12,000 years ago, more than 90% of its history, humans lived in small groups as hunter-gatherer nomads. The Neolithic Revolution first began in the Fertile Crescent in Southwest Asia and spread to large areas of the Old World over the next millennium. Revolution also took place independently in Mesoamerica, China, Papua New Guinea, the Sahel, and the savanna regions of West Africa. The Gokklaitit Monument, which was discovered within the borders of Sanlurfa province in Turkey, is dated to approximately 9600 BC and is recorded as the oldest historical structure ever found. Wheat and goats were domesticated around 9000 BC, peas and lentils in 8000 BC, olives in 5000 BC, horses in 4000 BC, and grapes in 3500 BC. Crops began to be cultivated and cattle domesticated in the Indus Valley in Asia around 6000 BC. 
Around 7000 BC millet and other grain crops were grown on the banks of the Yellow River in China. In the Yangtze, rice was cultivated even earlier, around 8000 BC. Sunflowers were planted around 4000 BC in America, and corn and beans were planted in Central America by 3.500 BC. Potatoes were first grown in the Andes in South America, where llamas were also domesticated.